Hello YouTube and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be talking about my Uniden BC125 AT scanner. Uh, this scanner is used for many things. It can be used to uh, uh, listen to radio, uh, radio frequencies such as the railroad, uh, police, EMS, firefighter, military, and I believe many more but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but today we're just going to be taking a look at the railroads. So I'm going to show you guys how to get this thing fully programmed, set up, and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, um, I bought this radio for about $100 on Amazon. And it also comes with some double chargeable uh, AA batteries. And it also comes with this charger right here, so you're able to charge it up. So let's go ahead and turn this on real quick. takes a second to get on okay so uh i have a couple channels that are already set up in here so i have this one that's set up uh over here by my house so if uh if we just want to start hearing stuff we just press scan and then it's just going to scan through and uh once somebody says something on the radio it'll p pick up that frequency so um I also have, this is the Union Pacific Baird subdivision between Fort Worth and Clyde, Texas. This is the Chicago subdivision, the CB&Q, um, the BNSF racetrack, and then this is Amtrak over in Fort Worth, which I think this is the wrong frequency, but I'm going to have to double check and see if I can get the correct one. So I'm going to show you guys how to get these frequencies so you can listen to your railroad area. All right, guys, we're over here on the computer right now. And what you guys want to go ahead and search up is called RadioReference.com. So RadioReference.com is a website where you can get multiple frequencies for railroads, military, police, EMS, or etc. You just search up on what you want in the area you're in, and then it'll give you um, hundreds of uh, frequencies for you to use. So I'm going to show you how to get this uh, thing fully programmed. So we're going to do the Fort Worth and Western Railroad, which is, I think, the second closest railroad by my house. Uh, closer to being almost as close as BNSF so we're gonna use this code right here um, so let's go ahead and get that started all right guys so once you guys have got your uh, frequency for your railroad you're gonna um, go over here to your main screen uh, you you guys are probably gonna first start off with bank one channel one but since I have three things already it's gonna be on bank one channel four for me so uh, we're going to take a look at the frequency number right here. And all the railroad frequencies are 160 to 161. So let me go ahead and zoom this in a little bit. Sorry, I'm not a pro uh, photographer. But, okay, we got 160.4000. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom this back out. So what you guys want to do is press the function key right here. And then you want to press uh, program, which is the letter E. And then what you guys want to do here is uh, enter the frequency. So we're going to press E one more time. And then we're going to enter the frequency that is right here. So in that case, the frequency we're doing is 160.4400. And then once you've got your frequency put in, just press E again. And then it's now on your scanner. Now... What you guys want to do is go ahead to where it says edit tag. Now you guys can edit uh, the tag on what you want it to say. So for here, I'm just going to say uh, FTWRR, so Fort Worth Western Railroad. So give me one second while I do this real quick. All right, guys. So uh, another thing I know people are going to have problems is how do I do spaces? So spaces is very easy. Uh, where it says six and four, it's gonna have the arrows. So you just wanna press that once, and then there's a space right here. So now, since I finished this in, I'm just gonna put RR for the railroad, for six again, the railroad. And then what we're gonna do is press E, and then now it's in our scanner. All right, guys, and then when you press uh, enter, it should just show up right here on your screen. And then all what you wanna do next is press scan. And then whenever you're by the tracks or something, you should be able to pick up frequencies and stuff. So, yeah, that's basically it for today's video, guys. Um, I know I haven't gotten a whole lot of detail about it. I try to get as much as I could. But if you guys have any questions to uh, 
to give me let me know in the comments below i'll try to respond to some of them but yeah um catch you guys on my next youtube video and i'll see you guys later have a good one